Well, here's the latest tool addition to my shop. This is a 4x8 CNC plasma table, and I picked this up from a local steel shop, and it's, they've actually owned it for quite a number of years. And they just upgraded to a new 5x10 table. Had a little bit of an in there, so they sold it to me for really cheap. I got this Hypertherm PowerMax 1100 plasma cutter with it. As well as a, a couple boxes of consumables, uh, different tips and nozzles. Now the table itself, uh, not really sure who built it, but it's a 4x8 table. Uh, pretty inexpensive design, manual torch height control. It did come with a machine torch. These are stepper motors on here, I'm not really sure. I believe they're 6 volt, 2 phase stepper motors. I don't really know that much about them. And I also got the, uh, the breakout board and stepper motor driver inside of this uh, control box right here. It looks to be kind of homemade. And then I got the computer. And the computer is really worthless. It's, uh, it's running pure DOS. And uh, it's an old compact. I believe it's a 66 megahertz processor. And I'm amazed this thing was still running because I pulled the cover off it first thing when I got here and it was just filled up with uh, grinder dust and smoke and it, it was sitting right next to the plasma table when it was in operation and this thing doesn't have any any uh, water trays in it so anyway this computer's seen better days so I've got this thing hooked up and under power and it seems to work fine uh, even though this thing is only uh, only driven from one side which is uh, really a design limitation that I see there really isn't any play here. I mean, we're talking a few hundredths of an inch, maybe. Nothing, uh, uh, you know, I don't know. It would certainly be more accurate if it had drives on both sides, but uh, good enough for my purposes. Obviously, the manual torch height control. That's something that I'd like to upgrade to uh, automatic torch height. And it's running this really old uh, software, Max NC. Not really familiar with it, but it does seem to control the table just fine. So I can do uh, manual jogs right here. So that's the X axis jog. And then the Y axis jog. And I was just looking at some of the uh, G-code programs that were already on this hard drive. I'm not even really sure what they're for, but uh, I just ran a couple of them just to see how the table would behave. So we'll go ahead and uh, fire one up here. You can actually watch the, the uh, table burn out to a real program here. Just a couple things I notice here when I'm watching the table work, uh, especially this x-axis here. This motor is very noisy at low speeds. Um, I don't know, it makes a real buzzing noise, and then I also notice that it's a little bit jerky. And it's not going to make. You can hear it right there. It's not going to make for a very quality cut, so that's something I'm probably going to need to work on upgrade. But it is functional. It's a good starting point. So we'll stop it right there. Now at least for now, the first thing I plan on doing is ditching this old computer. 
I would like to be able to run this from my laptop and uh, not be transferring files via a floppy disk here. I don't even have uh, three and a half inch floppy drives in any of my machines anymore, even my old ones. So, so I'm planning on running a smooth stepper USB interface board in here, and I'm going to uh, I'm planning on purchasing the Mach 4 control software, and I'll run that probably off my laptop. So that'll be my first upgrade that I'm planning on doing. So. And something else that I'm going to look into is uh, upgrading these stepper motors. Uh, it's my understanding you get a little bit better performance from servos. And I was noticing when I was running this that the, especially this x-axis right here is really noisy and slight hint of jerkiness at really slow speeds. It seems to move fine and be nice and quiet at higher speeds. I'm not really sure why that is. I don't know if that's a problem with the stepper motor or just a design limitation in the system or maybe the uh, stepper motor driver maybe even the software. I'm not really sure where that jerkiness is coming from. So that's something I'd actually uh, I'd, I'd like to correct that just so I can get some more quality cuts. And one of the first upgrades I plan on doing is I am going to weld in some angle iron and flat bar under here and make up three water trays to put under here. I do like to keep my shop fairly clean and uh, I don't want all the soot and smoke that goes along with the uh, with the plasma table. I want to quench as much of that as I can in the water table and take care of the rest of it with a dust evacuation system. And something else that I'd like to do sometime here in the near future is to put automatic torch height control on here. This is a pretty simple mounting system and I'm not really sure what's available out there as far as upgrades for torch height control but uh, it looks like it wouldn't be too difficult to come up with uh, some kind of mounting system for a, a powered Z-axis.